Back now at the Pro Rough Stock Collision in the Cape in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, where we're getting ready for the finals in saddle bronc riding. And on paper, Hawkeye, this is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, I tell you what, J.C. Elsher has got it really good right now. He's sitting pretty with that 86. But these Frontier Bronx, you can either be 85 plus on them or you're going to get bucked off. So there's no way of speculating or telling what's fixing to happen here. All right, Hawk, let's get right to it. Heath DeMoss is going to be the first man, Danger DeMoss from Heflin, Louisiana. Last week he was 83.5 in that long round. He's got Cover Girl from Frontier Rodeo. Here, let's see what's fixing to happen right now. I like this guy's riding. I like his energy. Good spur out. Oh, my goodness. What happened right there, Hawkeye? Took his feet out before the horse broke. Let his feet come out. Lean just a little bit forward. I think his rain dropped. Let's take a look. Lean forward, rain drops. Look what happens. No swells. Horse jerks it away from him. There can't be anybody more disappointed than him. You saw him throw dirt. He rides better than this. So you know? what you're getting at is that horse kind of took a little run at him. Yeah. Should have held them feet in the front end. Until the until horse the broke. Horse blew. And that horse and will kick your feet out, and you don't get your saddle jerked away like that. That horse cover girl showing off some detachability here in Cape Girardeau. Up now is Court Shear, the number four man in points this season, the winner in Gonzalez. The Nebraska man is on shortcake from Frontier Rodeo Company. Well, this guy right here, as we've talked about before, is not afraid to spur one. He will offer his spurs to him. As we see him leave there, spur out. Look at this horse. We're kind of bad headed, fucking. Doesn't affect him at all. Real aggressive with his feet. He goes to that front end fast. Hey, I'm going to have you explain what bad headed means to a bronc rider. All right. Now, watch it right here. When she breaks, watch her head. Goes. She's bobbing it up and down, moving it to the left. See how this is not, she's giving him that rein back. It makes it harder to spur until she gets a little more level headed. In other words, she bucks with the head low a couple jumps, then raises it up in his face. That yep. length of that rein is so important, but if she's giving you all, she's giving you all kinds of different looks and feels right there. Right, right, it's really hard. You've got to be able to lift to spur. He looked, made it work out really well. Well, it did work out well with the degree of difficulty. Uh, Judge is only a 79.5, he'll total 160 now on two rides and court shear is all smiles as he gets congratulations back at the bucket shoes for just staying with that one now let's go to jt hitch stylesville indiana man he's on the grizz from frontier rodeo well i tell you he had that peanut butter oil for his first one here we got look at this straight down the pin jumper kick he's had the two horses here that are really good to ride and he messes up a few jumps on this one right here you know though when you come back to this replay everything looks good like you say boy this is great look at that horse kicking over his head, getting to the front end. That that is amazing. That's nice. But I noticed, like you said, when he turns off right here, that right foot, he's hung a little bit, isn't he? he is. The judges couldn't see that though. They could. But but Kelly, what what did you see down there? JT Hicks just made an outstanding ride on that horse Grizz. Jumped out there, lifted on his rein, was setting his feet, was aggressive across there, missed a couple licks, was still 84, sitting first. 84.5 is first place, and when you add his scores together with that 80.5, he's a 165 on two rides here in the Cape. With one man to go, J.J. Elsher. Here's the number one man for the season out of Hereford, South Dakota. He's won two events. If he's got the right horse with him, under him, he's definitely going to take a run at that leaderboard. Look at this. It started off. Woo! Oh, I tell you one okay, thing. I got to go to the expert. What happened there? Oh, oh, well, I tell you one thing. Good spur out and everything else. First two jumps pretty even. Third jump looked like she really gave it to him. Let's see. Okay. Re just regular even jumps. Okay, right here. Whoa, really strong. Look what happens. His feet are behind him. He didn't get a hold in the front end that jump. Feet. Like in the bull riding spud, whipped you down. Right. Feet go behind you. Your upper body goes forward. If your upper body goes forward, with that free hand, you touch the animal's disqualification. Here comes that move, set him up, and brings him down, and that's a disqualification when you touch that animal with the free hand. So, J.J. Elsher is not gonna win his third event of the season. He'll come down early. It's a no score for the man who has been red hot all season. So here's the Saddle Bronc riding scoreboard with the help of the 84.5 here in the final round. J.T. Hitch will get his first professional rough stock championship. Court Shear racks up some dollars and points here. J.J. Elsher salvages third. Kelly is with our champion, J.T. Hitch. J.T. Hicks coming in the Saddle Bronc ride, man. You've helped me pick horses before. 
Today was a little bit ranker pin we got from Frontier. You drew just a sweetheart in that long go, made a solid ride, come back and had a juice hog in the final four. Well, I'll tell you what, I couldn't have drawn no more perfect. Uh, you know, the first one just got me back in there solid, and, and man, like you said, that second one just a, sure enough, a jam up one to have. I was excited. Thanks, Kelly. Our season leader remains J.J. Osher, followed by Troy Krauser. But Corsier moves into the number three spot, and J.T. Hitch is now in the top 12 at number eight. Time to find out who made the Kershaw cut in tonight's Cutting Edge performance highlights presented by Kershaw Knives. In bareback riding, our champion is Stephen Peoples, who moves from fourth to first in the Wrangler Final Four round today. His 87-point ride on Little Bay Annie ties for the second high-scored ride of the 2013 season. In bull riding, Willis Charles Clare shakes up the season leaderboard with his second PRS bull riding title of the season. He gets there on the strength of his opening round, 80.5. And we give honorable mention to New Frontier, who brought some major league bull power. And in saddle bunk riding, JT Hitch rides the most famous buck and horse Grizz to a score of 84.5. It's his first PRS saddle bronc title and puts him in the top 10. Next week, we head to the beautiful Black Hills of Western South Dakota for the Black Hills Classic, where we'll once again see two of the nation's premier saddle broncs go head to head in the arena. Birch's Lunatic Fringe and Sutton's Chuculator. Don't miss that. Also, we invite you to be a part of the Rustock Revolution by joining our PRS Fan Nation on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest on what's happening. Meanwhile, log on to ProRustock.com for more video, all the scores, news, and information from the PRS Tour during the 2013 season. For Spud Whitman, Hawkeye Henson, and Kelly Timberman, I'm Justin McKee. Thank you for joining us here in Missouri. See you in the Black Hills next week.